Hi Pisces, welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at a love connection for you at this time. And this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. So you have to actually know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you have to have what you believe is some sort of connection between the two of you. So welcome in Pisces. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your situation. Don't try to make it fit. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and male, female, doesn't matter. And I can pick up past, present, or future energies, so please keep that in mind also. So let's see what's going on with you, Pisces, at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box to your general and love playlist along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below, and I also will pin that some of that info to the top comment. So let's see, Pisces, what's going on with you in love spirit, please, at this time, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. And this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally, totally fine. So let's see, what do we have for Pisces at this time, Spirit, please, in love, who they are thinking about at this time. Oh. And we have Uranus, which is, let's see what sign that is associated with Aquarius. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius, or maybe they have Aquarius heavy in their chart. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. It could just be the energy of Uranus, which is the energy of um, human needs and changes. So I would guess that's a basic human needs in life. You know, food, water, shelter, love, family, friends, you know, all the basic needs of life. So let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. So this deck here, first thing I'll do is get a current love energy, connection energy between you and the person that you are thinking about at this time for this reading. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Whoever Pisces is thinking about at this time for this reading, what is the con love connection energy between the two of them, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Between Pisces, almost had a jumper there. Pisces and their person. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So definitely is chemistry between you and the person that you're thinking of. So, and a lot of attraction. So, like a magnetic uh, bond between the two of you, like you're just drawn to one another. All right, so what I'm going to do now, Pisces, I'm going to put you here, your person here, and we'll see how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energy should be switched or flipped, please do that anywhere you see fit. So how is Pisces thinking about their person? How is their person thinking about Pisces? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, that's too many. But we do have children here. They, so let's see what you're feeling. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this could be uh, healing something between you and your person. And your person is feeling children. Your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. So we're going to see where this is going once we get into the tarot. And at the bottom here, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Wow. So <clears throat> what I'm feeling with this, Pisces, is that although this chemistry between you and, you and your person, uh, you may just like get along really, really well, sort of like best friends. Um, but there's some sort of separation between the two of you. Maybe you're trying to heal that. Uh, maybe trying to stay together for the children, if you have young children. Um, or your person has children. Maybe they're afraid to tell you that because they're afraid you may reject them and they are afraid that you may go into separation if you find out they have children, especially if it's a new connection. Um, and you could be healing some sort of family issues 
on your own, having to do with you know, your own parents or a previous relationship um, where you had a family, you could be also healing that. And maybe you are in separation um, also from somebody as you're healing that situation and moving on. So a lot of different messages here. So this chemistry could be with a new person, an existing person. <clears throat> so we're going to see here when we get into the tarot. So a lot of different messages. So let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Pisces. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all those who have reached out for personal reading, tipped, donated, or sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. And we have reached 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of that, I am doing a contest for a tarot giveaway, a deck giveaway, and also a 20-minute free reading of your choice by me. So you will receive the deck I do your reading with, and you also receive that uh, deck as a gift. So if you're interested in entering the contest, I'll put a link below to where to enter for the contest in the description box and po probably along in the top comment. Um, it'll bring you to the community tab of the channel where I made a post about the contest, and that there um, is where you will enter, and you'll have all the information you need on how to enter uh, if you would like to do that. And if you do, thank you. And if you do, good luck. All right. So Pisces. And it will be open till the end of March. And I'll close the contest April 1st. And then I will pick a winner. So all that info will be in the link provided. All right. So Pisces. What is going on here? What is this? A new person? Are you healing something with somebody? <clears throat> What is going on here for Pisces? We have the wheel. What else? And the devil. Whoa, boy. Okay, we got two majors here. So we have toxic energy with the devil. And that could be what you could be healing. You know, maybe it's not getting along with your person. Maybe, you know, a lot of fighting, arguing, not seeing eye to eye. You know, backstabbing, one-upping one another kind of energy. But then we have the wheel here about, you know, things going in a better direction, divine timing, fate, destiny, um, things getting better. So, you know, maybe you're trying to heal whatever energy is between you and your person, but the wheel is here to say that things can get better. Things can go in the right direction by healing this, um, these energies. So what about children here for your person? What about children here for your person? Why is children here? So we got the seven of pentacles. So this is about investments, analyzing, assessing, patience, and waiting for something to bloom. And then we have imbalance here with the two of pentacles. So I feel like your person is feeling out of whack. They're not feeling balanced right now. And they're trying to decide. It's like an energy like they're almost going stir crazy. Like um, even though there's children involved, it's like, do I want to keep investing in this? I feel like they're feeling very like this. I don't know. Just a smile on this person's face just looks like she's a little uh, wacky. So your, feel, your person may be feeling a little out of sorts, out of whack, not feeling balanced right now. And they're deciding whether or not they want to keep investing in this. But I think if there's children involved, that's probably what is keeping them there. But we do have separation here. So, but then we have chemistry. So you may still be uh, phys physically attracted to one another. But that may be it. And that could be the devil for that very lustful, um, passionate energy. But that may be all that is there right now. Oh, I don't know. What is going on here for you, Pisces? And then we have, you know, the basic human needs there. And sex is part of the basic human needs. Well, we got the Hierophant in reverse. So... <clears throat> the Hierophant is about marriage and commitment, so I feel like with that reversed, it's like no longer being committed, no longer wanting to be in a marriage here. Yeah, a lot of fighting, arguing, conflict here. The Five of Wands. I think trying to 
get beyond this, trying to heal from this energy. But with the Hierophant in reverse, yeah, now the Five of Swords, wow. So again, that's an energy of like nitpicking at each other, <clears throat> backstabbing one another, one-upping one another kind of energy. And that's like right in the middle of the spread here. So let's see what else in this situation. Nine of Pentacles, your person, yeah. They're, this is my single card, my single energy. And I think they're feeling too off kilter, too off balance to even invest in this anymore. And they're really thinking about becoming independent and single. Even though there's children involved that may have kept them there for a while. But now it's like, you know, I just don't think I can do this anymore. And with the Hierophant in reverse, uh, on your side, I think you're kind of in the same energy. <coughs> Actually, I don't feel comfortable taking that because I didn't ask. So let's get one more, one more for this actual situation. It's way too many. One more for Pisces, please. The Magician. So this is manifesting a new beginning of some sort. They really want to manifest being single. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. You could actually be separated right now. Uh, and maybe, you know, I hate to say this, maybe filing for divorce. And the divine wheel of timing is here to say that whatever is happening in the situation is meant to be. It's meant to happen. It's divine timing. It's fate. It's destiny. It can't, really can't be controlled. The wheel is here to move this forward. I just feel like there's a lot of toxic energy. These two fives here, and then you add that together, that's a ten, which is an ending. This is a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering, backstabbing one another, one-upping one another, nitpicking one another with these two fives here. Um, you know, egos battling each other and... Um, just not a good energy. And the Hierophant in reverse, it's like marriage or commitment is like on the rocks here. Like no wanting not really to commit to this anymore. And I feel like your person's in the same energy. You're both really in the same energy. But I, I don't know why this chemistry is here. I Maybe, you know, when it started out, there was a lot of uh, chemistry and attraction between the two of you. So let's see what the advice is. And it may be, you know, you aren't getting along, but maybe the sex is still good, you know? All right, so, but maybe it's not enough. All right, so what is the advice? Three of Pentacles. In this situation, the Knight of Pentacles. Now we're getting a lot of Pentacle energy here. Two of Swords, one more for the advice for this connection, and the Lovers. So, wow, so, so there might be a separation while you try to figure things out. Can we move beyond, you know, all this toxic energy, <clears throat> you know, separation from the marriage or commitment that could be the Hierophant in reverse? But we, I do see here a decision needs to be made. Two cards of decision. The Lovers is about choosing, decision, choosing a soulmate or not. Can we work it out with the Three of Pentacles? Can we move forward? Can we be stable once again and be practical and smart moving forward and take things slowly and work it out with the Three of Pentacles, like learning a new way to approach this? So the advice is to really think long and hard and make a decision on whether or not you want to move forward and trying to like rebuild this, uh, renew this, you know, bring the stability back in. Don't see any, I do have soulmate energy here. So I do feel like you are soulmates, but there's a lot of this not so good energy here. So ultimately someone needs to make a decision on whether or not to try to work this out moving forward. So let's see what the possible outcome could be for you Pisces, for you Pisces in this connection. Eight of Cups. Well, 
Some may decide here just to walk away that it's too much work. The Empress, so knowing your value and worth, being in that Emperor Empress energy. No, the Empress gives birth to new things. So let's get one more in the Six of Cups. So definitely a soulmate energy here. This could be somebody you've been with for a very, very long time. Or someone you've known since childhood or have had past lives with. We've got two cards of soulmate. So this definitely was a soulmate connection at one time. But it's really being tested right now. Really being tested. And I think you're both in the energy of giving up. Because it's just so much conflict, toxic energy, not getting along, not seeing eye to eye. Uh, like, I don't know, just very... Um, not good energy possible outcome is here somebody may know their value and their worth and may decide to walk away maybe even return six of cups can also be about returning back home maybe to your childhood home <clears throat> some may feel the need here to walk away and return back home to where they grew up and like start over start new the empress gives birth to new things so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck Six of Pentacles. So this is uh, balance, equal give and take. Two of Cups. So there definitely is soulmate, again, energy here. <coughs> but we do have the Knight of Swords, which can, which can be a reckless kind of energy. You know, a lot of coming in with a lot of authority and sometimes can cause disruptions, fights, arguments kind of energy. Mental blockage here. Mental entrapment. But then we do have peace, harmony, balance, patience kind of energy. Now we have the king of swords. So having mental clarity and doing what you need to do. Um, cutting away things no longer serving. Standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. So somebody may get the mental clarity here. The peace, the balance, the patience. Even though there's mental blockages here. Somebody may rush in here and say, okay... Maybe we can work this out and bring um, balance back into the soulmate connection, the soulmate relationship. So uh, some may try to work it out, I feel. Um, may try to walk away from the energy of how things are going now and try to return and see the value and worth of the connection and try to work it out and some may it may work out for some there may be peace harmony balance having patience with one another mental clarity cutting away toxic energy and having the soulmate union once again of equal give and take after a brief separation but then i feel some of you may decide to totally just walk away and start a new life somewhere else we didn't get justice here, which would to me would be divorce, but I do have separation there. So, um, so yeah, it's up ultimately up to you, Pisces, if you think you can work this out, or if you think you can um, rather start anew somewhere else. But let's get some extra messages with this deck here for this connection for you, Pisces. I do ask Pisces, especially if you're new. If you like my style and how I read, um, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And you get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you Pisces on this connection. For some of you, I feel like you're married or in a long-term uh, commitment relationship with this person some of you are contemplating uh, divorce and may actually follow through with that some of you may try to work it out after brief wow separation and half of my cards just went flying on the floor all right so let me pick these up here okay so I feel let me show you what we got. Oh, we got three here. So we have time. 
you are trying too hard, give it time. So I feel like over time, some of you may work this out. But then I saw this here, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So I feel like some of you may have somebody interested in you. And I think some of you may start a new life by returning back home or returning, I don't know, starting over somewhere else. And maybe with the secret admirer here, that definitely could be the chemistry there. And then we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So some of you may manifest a miracle here by healing this connection, or some of you may manifest a miracle in time with a new secret admirer and start anew somewhere else. So <clears throat> whatever is in your heart, whatever you feel like you need to do, it's totally up to you, Pisces. I know I just feel like there may be one more. Is there one more for Pisces? Yep, I felt it. So we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Exactly. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship will magically transform. And we had that over here. So if you can get past this criticizing and all that other energy and heal this and move on, I feel like this could work for some. For some, I feel like it may be beyond repair and you may feel the best option is to divorce or start anew somewhere else. And you do, some of you do have a secret admirer, which could lead to a new beginning somewhat with someone else. And then we have here, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So some of you will be taking that new path. I strongly feel that and some of you will heal and mend this and work this out. So it's up to you and what you want. You still have chemistry with this person and feel like it can be healed. Maybe a separation is needed and coming back. That could be the walking away and then coming back and working it out. Or some of you may decide that walking away is the best option and moving on to another life down the road in the future. There is a secret admirer waiting for you, and it could be a soulmate. Though I, though I do feel like this connection was a true soulmate at one time. Wow, Pisces. Well, best of luck to you, whatever you decide to do here. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.